I play Carol, who is our lead, Tessa's mom, and for me this was so relatable to play a mom. Because I think any any caring mom is is kind of a universal thing. I mean, everyone parents differently, and Carol, um, Carol just wants so much for her daughter, and her daughter is beautiful and has promise, and they've worked really hard to get her, you know, to, to go away to school, and this is um, really a defining moment in Carol's life and, of course, in Tessa's life, but this is her first time we see her kind of struggling uh, how to let her daughter be her own person. You know, this book is so huge and I'm kind of out of the loop of a lot of the things that are in the zeitgeist of public consumption that everyone loves because I'm so busy being a mom and now trying to go back to work. But this was so amazing because then I get to go back to work and be in the midst of something that is so beloved by so many, the after books. Um, I didn't, I, I got a call really like a couple days before I came to shoot asking if I was interested in this. And I had worked with Jenny, and I, I've known Jenny, the director, and um, we did a photo shoot right when I was starting out. I was the first celebrity she had ever shot, and I loved her movie, All This Panic. And so I was invited on board, and I hadn't read the books, but I immediately went and downloaded them as billions have done, I've heard. And I was like, oh, this is great to be a small part of something like this. I love this. And it's kind of a throwback for me also to Cruel Intentions when I first started. And I'm kind of playing the mom that Christine Baranski was, but much more toned down. We, we played it in a much more kind of not as heightened way. But um, no, then I was told, okay, don't read the books and just, you know, we just, we're here just working on the scripts. But I'm, I'm really excited. I love when something has an energy already around it and people really want to see it already. It's a really flawed love story and it's the kind that we all have when we fall in love with the people who might not be best for us. And it, um, you know, the, this girl grows up with her first love. She, she really, she's forced to grow up with her first experience with um, a really kind of mature, complicated love. Josephine Langford is playing Tessa Young, and Again, I'm so out of it that I didn't know who this exceptional creature was, and I, I'm so flattered that people would think we uh, are at all similar, but we really are. I mean, you know, she has the juiciness of youth that is so perfect, of course, for this young love story, but I mean, we're really so similar. The way we walk, our broad shoulders, we're really goofy, we get along truly instantly. I'm. I mean, it's really, we laugh the same way. Um, I let my natural hair color grow out and everyone's like, wow, I always think of you as a brunette. I'm like, I've dyed it for years. That's not even my color. Um, but it, it is, um, it's really nice when it just gets to work like that, that you're like, wow, I don't have to really copy your mannerisms to make something more realistic. We're already there. So that's just a nice bit of wonderful kismet. And, and I happen to adore her, really. She's um, very, very innocent and pure in real life, it seems, but also really wise. And I'm, it's really nice to know someone like that. Hardin is Tessa, the lead's love interest. And he is what is essentially, in colloquial terms, a Mr. Steal Your Girl. Um, I would say that encapsulates it pretty well, but he is, um, he is, for lack of a better word, a womanizer who changes throughout the film thanks to Tessa. I think people are drawn to the story of Hessa 
Harden and Tessa. Um, because A, they're completely different people um, who initially, I don't, I don't think, I mean, there's obviously attraction at first sight, but they don't ever know how much they're going to love each other from the start. And it's one of those great stories that you can learn to love someone and they're completely different, which makes it all the more interesting. And the fact that the relationship is demonstrated in a very real way. They don't shy away from showing things that people would often think aren't important to show, like the difficulties of love and, and intimate parts and the complicated parts and ev everything is shown. Josephine Langford plays Tessa Young and I think the mo the reason, I mean, we could go on for ages, but I think her acting ability helps me so much. And the fact she's such a nice, considerate person and that she simply just acts so well, especially in the emotional scenes and, and, and stuff, it really gives me a lot to feed off and she's just doing a great performance. She's carrying this film. I think her, her acting ability is, is the, the strongest aspect she brings to this film, quite rightly. <laughs> Jenny Gage is the director and I think the sole reason she's managed to direct us so well is the fact that we've spent enough time to get to know her. I'm at her house all the time playing Fortnite with her kids and doing my laundry there, so she's almost like a motherly figure to me, and I think it's the same with Joe. And the fact we feel so f free and able to discuss everything that we think freely and all of our visions of the film are very similar, it just makes it a very easy and practical kind of uh, relationship we have between the three of us. Anna Todd is the author of After and it's so helpful to have her on set all the time just to give us that even deeper knowledge of who the character is and how they behave and all that stuff because even more than she's ever written down is in her head about these characters. So it's great to have her to reinforce that. And also the fact that she's at the hotel with us as well is just another person who's really always there whenever we want to talk about and discuss how we should play a certain role or line or whatever it may be. Um, so helpful to have her on board. She's always everywhere, a, a phone call or 10 minute walk away. If there's one thing about after that drew me to it, it's that it's not perfect in any way, shape or form. Like the relationship is messy and complicated and the people in it are messy and complicated and it's just very real, I think. I think that there's certain things or events in people's lives which are really significant and which change and after they happen it changes who they are as people or it changes their essence or it changes at least certain things about them and so for me after is about the event or the thing that changes Tessa and Harden. She is so much fun and she is such a pro she we will be laughing about the stupidest thing cracking up and then the next minute she'll be crying in this doing the most emotional scene it's it's so great to watch someone with as much experience in the industry as her and as good at acting as I guess she is and um I was surprised by how much we had in common so kudos to casting because we're really we it does really feel like mother and daughter when we're acting together The f beginning was just me reading fan fiction. I've always read fan fiction from Twilight, Harry Potter, back to like live journal Hanson days. I've just always loved fan fiction. So I saw um, on Instagram where people were writing One Direction fan fiction. And I was the only one of my adult friends who liked One Direction's music. And I was like, what is this? Somebody's writing fan fiction about One Direction. And then I realized it was not only, you know, young girls, it was grown women, it was grown men, it was this whole world of fan fiction. 
um, that I didn't know existed. So then I joined Wattpad to read it. I never thought about really writing it myself. I just wanted to read on Wattpad. And then one day I felt like I'd read everything on Wattpad, which is obviously not true because there's millions of stories, but just nothing was finished or catching my eye. And I only wanted to read fan fiction about One Direction specifically. I refused to read any like published books or anything. So then I just was like, I'll just write a chapter. It was literally this random thought. Like, I'm glad I didn't think about it again. Otherwise, I would have never done it. But I was like, maybe I'll just write a chapter and entertain myself. So I did. And then um, it was about three months later when it really started picking up. It was picking up in the beginning, but it just like crashed the website and all of these things. And then um, Wattpad reached out to me about publishing and asked if I ever thought about it. And of course I hadn't because I'm like, people publish Harry Styles books. Like, what is that? Um, and then I went to Wattpad and then we went and met with publishers. The book went to an auction. I got to choose the editor and publishing house that I wanted, which is literally like a writer's dream come true, which before this, I thought that every writer gets to have that luxury, which is, Definitely not reality, unfortunately. And Simon Schuster picked it up, and here we are. <laughs> they call themselves actornators. In the beginning, they called themselves toddlers, but we were like, oh, let's not do that, because it's like, yeah. Um, so actornators stayed, and then in Spanish, they call themselves actorianas. Um, which is really cute, obviously. Um, and their influence has just been, one, just kind of like this sea of fish that's like a friend for me. Um, their influence from the comments in the beginning just making me write the next chapter. Like, I can't wait for the next chapter, or if you don't update, I'm going to never read this again, or I'm gonna find out where you live, or what, just like the most passionate. Um, but they really, having all these people say like, I need another chapter, I need another chapter, really did help me write so fast. That's I think the reason why I wrote a million words in a year because I didn't even know how many words I was writing. But there's just something about this positive group of people who just wanna read it just because they wanna know what happens. And it felt like they were as much owner of the story as I was because we were doing it together. The story of after really the short version is just two unlikely people, one college freshman named Tessa Young, who comes in a very tropey way from a sheltered life, single mother, um, kind of struggling to get by. Their goal was to always have her be in school, get to college, have a career. That's the whole goal. And then you have Hardin Scott who doesn't really have any goals. <laughs> he know, he's smart, he's like gifted in that way where he just kind of skated through, um, but he was very angry, kind of lost person. And they're both lost in their own way. She thinks that she is an adult and she's not, and he thinks that he is an adult and he's not. And they just make a lot of mistakes together and separately until they finally figure it out. To me, it's just who these people are after they meet each other and how every little thing, every choice you make, every person you meet can change you in some way. And for me, it just was how they are after each other. Even if you've never heard of this before or me or read any of my books or any books, I think you'll just get that same feeling of the old time love story from Pride and Prejudice, from Wuthering Heights, from She's All That, even Cruel Intentions. Um, I think it has that nostalgic feeling of a love story, but very modern um, and painful and angsty and happy. Um, and I think if you have heard of me and have read my books and are wondering what you're gonna see, you're gonna see the same story that you loved um, just with a couple surprises in there that I think you'll really love and I hope that you'll even love the movie just as much, if not more, as the books. The fans are incredible. They're so loyal, they're so passionate. Um, you know, they make these edits online and there's, some of them are really incredible and they really um, just, you know, believe in these characters and connect with them so much. 
And that's a lot of responsibility as somebody making the film, um, as somebody directing, you know, the first feature film from the after series. And, um, you know, I take inspiration. I also want to, you know, mold things so there's some surprises in the film and there's some, you know, new developments. And um, so it's, it's, it's been great. I think in this day and age, everyone has a responsibility to telling authentic, you know, inspiring stories. Even in first love is never perfect. It's never, you know, it's often messy, but that doesn't mean um, that it can't be uh, something that we learn a lot from and that is inspiring. And uh, as a female filmmaker, as a woman, uh, as a mother of a daughter, I, I think about that all the time when making any art.